Hello po sa lahat. Um, for today po, pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon ang fraction. So, para dun sa mga ngayon pa lang uh, nakapanood, uh, siguro po mas maganda kung panoorin niyo po yung una kong video on fractions para po mas maintindihan natin. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk again on fractions. Okay, ano ngayon ang pag-uusapan natin? We will be talking about proper improper and mix. So, let's go ahead. Alright, meron ako dito ang kapirasong pie. Okay. Another piece of a pie. A half of an apple at lahat ng apple. A cake na hindi buo. So, may bawas na. And then, a chocolate bar. Okay. Usually, pag meron tayong binigay na hindi naman umabot sa isa. Okay. Um, yung ginagamit nating fraction doon or representation ng fraction are what we call proper fraction. Okay? So, ano ngayon ang proper fraction? Okay? So, based on doon sa mga examples kanina na hindi naman umabot sa isa, eh di proper fraction is a fraction less than 1. Klaro-klaro yun. And then, since hindi umabot sa isa, the numerator is less than the denominator. So, the same as the examples here. Let's check. Okay. You have there 1, 8. Hindi umabot sa isa. 5, 6. Hindi again umabot sa isa. Kulang ng isa para maging buo. And then, 10, 12. Again, kulang ng dalawa para maging isa buo. So, all of these three are examples of a proper fraction. Another example of proper fractions. Yeah. Alright, we have two thirds, one fifth, twenty nine, thirty, nine tenths, one hundred seventeenth over one twenty, and one half. Okay, kahit pa umabot yung terms, or lumaki yung terms, one hundred seventeen over one twenty, as long as the numerator is less than the denominator. That is a proper fraction. Okay? Yan. Lahat ng parts are shaded. Tama? So, since lahat ng parts are shaded, pwede kong sabihin na I still have four fourths. Tama, di ba? Okay. Four fourths. And since buo pa, okay, meron kang apat na shaded parts sa apat na total parts. Okay? Pwede mong sabihin na this is equal to 1. Tama? Kaya lang, dahil equal to 1 ito, proper fraction pa rin ba? So, hindi na. Kasi, if we go back, sabi, ang proper fraction is a fraction less than 1. Hindi umabot sa isa. Now, since ito ay umabot sa isa, 4 fourths na siya. So, hindi na ito proper fraction. Ito na ngayon ang kabaligtaran ng proper. So, this is now a part of an improper fraction. So, whole numbers lang ba? Or, or whole fractions lang ba? Improper fractions ba? Ang improper fractions ba? Are just fractions equal to 1? Now, let's take a look at the next examples. Okay, for this one. Ah, this is one fourth. Tama? Kung dadamihan ko yan, lagay ko muna sa baba. You have there, one fourth. Nilipat ko lang, di ba? And then, another one fourth, another one, another one, and meron na akong limang one fourth. Okay. Pwede ko na itong sabihin na five fourths. Tama, di ba? Kasi limang one fourth or five fourths. Okay. So, lipat natin doon sa taas. I-arrange natin doon. Okay? Ayan. Lagyan natin sa taas. Okay. Ikot mo lang yan para mabuo yung circle. At meron ka pang isang sobra. Ilagyan natin sa another circle. Diba? So, 5 fourths pa rin ba ito? Yes. 5 fourths pa rin yan. Kung naalala nyo, okay, 1 fourth yung una ko pinakita eh. 1 fourth. Lipat ko lang sa baba. Lipat sa baba, and then, meron akong limang one-fourth. 
5 fourths yun, di ba? Tapos, inarrange lang natin dito. So, itong nandito sa taas na napaloob sa dalawang circle, 5 fourths pa rin yung dalawa na to. Kasi nga, if you will compare it with the pictures sa baba, okay, meron kang limang 1 fourth. E 5 fourths na yan eh, pinag-usapan na natin kanina 5 fourths yan. Dapat, hindi siya nagbabago. Pag nakalagay siya sa dalawang circle, bibilangin mo lang ilan na 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, dapat 5 fourths pa rin. So, bakit 4 ang nasa baba? Hindi, walo. Kasi, 8 equal parts na. Hindi dapat walo. Kasi, ang denominator should be the number of equal parts in a whole. So, bawat isa. So, since ang isang circle dito is divided into 4, ito rin is divided into 4, pareho lang naman silang dalawa, kaya ang denominator natin ay 4. Bibilangin mo lang lahat ito, 5 lahat kasama ito, kaya ito ay 5 fourths. So, this is 5 fourths, ito din ay 5 fourths. Imagine nyo lang kasi yung 1 fourth nyo na papel. Kung maraming 1 fourth, ibilangin mo lang, kung meron kang 6 na 1 fourth, E di 6 fourths. Kung may 10 fourths. Hindi dapat nagbabago ang number sa baba kasi hindi naman, hindi naman nagbago ang shapes or sizes ng mga nandito sa baba. Inarrange lang naman natin yun sa taas. Diba? Now, kung titignan nyo, meron ka ng isang buong circle dito. May sobra pa. E di ibig sabihin, hindi na ito kasama sa proper fraction. Tama, di ba? Kasi sabi, ang proper fraction is less than 1. Okay, so mobra na ito sa 1 eh. Kaya, again, this is a part of an improper fraction. Or kasama ito sa mga improper fraction. So, yung una natin example kanina, isang buo or whole fraction is an improper fraction. And this time, ito naman, na 5 fourths, again, is another improper fraction. And, tignan nyo ha, dahil sumobra siya sa isa, eh di yung numerator sa taas, mas malaki kisa sa denominator. So, ano ngayon ang improper fraction? Okay. So, based on, sa dalawa nating examples, kanina, una is yung one whole. Diba? So, kung one whole, or whole fraction, kasama na sa improper. Kung sumobra naman sa isa, kasama na sa improper. Eh, di ibig sabihin, improper fraction is a fraction equal to or greater than 1. Yun lang yun. And then, take note, bantayan nyo ang numerator. The numerator should be equal to or greater than the denominator. Now, there are times na then I describe yung improper fraction as uh, just greater than, or yung numerator niya is just greater than the denominator. Ha? Pero, dapat, kasama, kasama mo dapat sa description na pwede siyang maging equal or greater than the denominator. Kasi, ang whole fraction or whole number or whole fraction, okay, is already a part of the improper fraction. Okay? So, the numerator is equal to or greater than the denominator. Ibig sabihin ulit, ang numerator pwedeng equal sa denominator, pwede rin mas malaki sa denominator. Okay? So, let's have more examples. Yan. So, buo. This is a part of an improper fraction. And this is 4 fourths. Tama, di ba? Another one. Oh, magkasama itong dalawa. So, meron kang isang buo at saka tatlo. So, apat and tatlo, pito. So, this is seven fourths. Kasi, pito nga eh. Diba? Now, another one here. Okay. Dalawa na ngayon, ang circles mo. You have four fourths, four fourths, and one fourth. So, apat, apat, at saka isa. E di nine lahat. So, nine fourths, nine over four. Again, these are all improper fractions. And take note ulit, yung denominator, okay, or yung numerator is equal to or greater than the denominator. Okay, yeah? So, more examples.
Yan, we have there four thirds, seven fifths, thirty five fifty, twelve tenths, one hundred fifty over one twenty, or three halves. So lahat ng yan are still in proper fractions dahil nga mas malaki ang nasa taas kaysa sa baba. Okay? Right. Let's have the next one. Okay, balik tayo ngayon sa one fourth ulit. Okay, palipat natin ulit ito sa baba. Sa baba ulit. Yan. Okay. Tumami uh, ulit. Pareho dun sa kanina. So, five fourths ulit. di ba? Arrange natin ulit dito sa taas. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. Apat and then may isa. Okay. So, again, this is five fourths. Tama, di ba? Pero, pwede ko sabihin na this is just four fourths. And then, this one is one fourth. Iwalay ko na lang. So, four fourths and one fourths, five fourths. Pero, ang four fourths, again, is equal to one, di ba? Kasi buo yung circle, eh. Di ba? So, pwede kong palitan yan with one. Tama, di ba? So, pwede kong sabihin ngayon na meron kong isang buong circle and one-fourth. Tama? So, isa at one-fourth. Now, in mathematics, pwede mong ipagsama yan. Okay? You can just say that all of these fractional parts is one and one-fourth. Kasi isang buong circle at saka one-fourth. And take note ha, pinaghalo mo na or pinaghalo na natin ang whole number. So, when you say whole number, buo. So, buo yung circle dito. So, this is a whole number, yung 1. And this is a fraction. So, dahil pinaghalo na natin ang whole number and fraction, hindi na natin pwedeng tawagin yan as proper or improper fraction. Kasi, hindi na ito fraction lang. Meron tayong whole number. So, since magkahalo na, mix. Eh, di ito na ngayon ang tinatawag na mixed number. Pero, in some other areas or some other teachers, tinatawag ito as mixed fraction. Specifically, mixed fraction talaga sana ito. Okay, ha? Uh, kaya lang, ang lagi natin ginagamit kasi is mixed number. So, this is what we call a mixed Number. Pero specific sana na pangalan dito is mixed fraction. Kasi a fraction and a whole number. Okay? So, mixed number, mixed fraction, pareho lang yan. Okay? Right? So, basing on the previous discussion, what is a mixed number? Right? See ya? So, a mixed number is just a combination of a whole number and a fraction. So, madali lang yan. Basta may isang whole number, may fraction, and that is already a mixed number. So, with this one, we have isang buo and then three-fourths. So, this is one and three-fourths. Another example is we have two circles, dalawang buo, and then one-fourth. A total of 9 fourths sana. Kaya lang, since you are talking about mixed number, bilangin mo lang yung dalawang buo. So, you have 2 and 1 fourth. So, 2 and 1 fourth lang. Okay? And then, this one, we have one whole uh, rectangle. And then, the other one is 3 six. So, this is 1 and 3 six. Okay, madali lang, di ba? Okay, more examples okay, of mixed numbers. We have 1 and 2 thirds, 5 and 1 seven, 9 and 11 twelve, 6 and 4 fifths, and 100 and 1 half. Again, it's a combination of a whole number and a fraction. Okay, sana naitindihan na. Okay, and quick review. What are proper fractions? Anong tandaan? Okay. So, proper fractions are fractions less than 1. The numerator is less than 
the denominator. Okay, ha? So, ano ngayon yung examples niya are 2 fifth, 1 third, 12 15, 4 seven, 17 20, and so on. Kahit anong number gawin mo pwede. Basta lang ang numerator is less than the denominator. Okay? Then, 111 and 112. Improper fractions. So, kabalik na lang sa proper fractions. So, ano ngayon ang improper fractions? They are fractions equal to or greater than 1. And take note, the numerator is greater than the denominator or pwedeng equal ha. So, hindi ko na isama dyan. Okay? So, examples are 4 thirds, 5 halves, 10 ninths, 6 thirds, 15 fourths, and 110 over 100 as long as yung denominator ay mas malaki or equal sa numerator or ang, ang numerator is mas malaki or equal sa denominator that is what we call an improper fraction. Now, mixed numbers. What are mixed numbers? From the word itself, mix. Combination. So, a combination of a whole number and a fraction. So, examples are 1 and 1 half, 3 and 2 thirds, 10 and 4 seven, 8 and 1 fourth, and 5 and 5 eighths. Dali lang, di ba? Okay nga. Subukan, subukan natin. Practice exercises. Tell whether the fraction is a proper fraction, improper fraction, or a mixed number. So, we have there 6 tenths. Is it a proper, improper, or mixed number? Alright, it's a proper fraction kasi nga hindi umabot sa isa. Another example. Okay, 15, 8. Is it a proper, improper, or mixed number? Okay, improper fraction. Kasi wala namang whole na number na nakalagay dyan, ha? And then, mas malaki yung denominator, uh, numerator kaysa sa denominator. Kaya, improper fraction. Another one. This, this is now 1 and 7, 8. So, ano ito? Proper ba? Improper or mixed number? Okay, this is a mixed number. May isang whole number in fraction. Another one. Two and one-thirds. Improper ba? Proper or mixed? Okay, this is a mixed number. Again, my whole number in fraction. Another one. Seven-thirds. Proper, improper, mixed. Okay, improper Another one, 8 16. Again, an example of a proper fraction. Okay, this time, sige. Proper ba, improper, or mixed? 3 7. Proper fraction. 6 and 8 13. Mixed number. Claro, claro. Nine fifths. Improper fraction. Two and one half. Mixed number. Five halves. Improper fraction. And one fourth. Proper fraction. Sana na intindihan, no? So, thank you po for watching. And, um, for more exercises, meron po ako nilagay na links sa baba. You can click on those links and more on fractions as well. Okay? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.